This is what my hair looks like this morning. Um, I didn't sleep with my hair in a pineapple last night. I kind of went to bed quickly and I did sleep on a silk pillowcase, but I didn't do anything else to protect my curls. So this is like what my hair looks like. Um, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Traditionally, finger coiling works really well for people who have like a slightly tighter curl pattern. So it's used by a lot of influencers um, and they get great results from it, but I just don't know if it is great for like wavy to loose curly hair. My hair, since I cut it short, is not as curly um, because I almost have like a ringlet style curl. So I feel like I need the length um, to get those great curls on the bottom. And so I will try any technique that is out there and I could use all the help I can get. Um, so I'm going to try this today. I did already shoot this video last week, but I made two mistakes and my hair turned out nice, but it just wasn't the results that I wanted. So here's what my hair looked like last week after finger coiling. I'm going to give you guys like close up look here at my curls. And really all that I did wrong was I think I took sections that were a little bit too small. So my hair looked just a little bit too broken up for me and I used too much hair cream. So because I was dividing my hair into sections, um, I was just using too much cream and I actually used the Diva Curl Wave Maker Cream and it just did nothing for me. So I'm going to do this video again. For my styling products, I'm going to use mostly gel, and you'll see that with a tiny bit of cream mixed in. Now, Mains by Mel and Joy before her and a couple of other people who have shot these videos, what they do is they put the cream in before they do the finger coiling, and then they put gel over top to kind of seal it in. But I'm not going to do that because that's not what works for my hair type. And through trial and error, I know that I need that gel in there from the beginning. I'm going to go jump in the shower come back with soaking wet hair and start the tutorial. I'm back, I just co-washed my hair, I just used conditioner, and as you can tell by my t-shirt, my hair is soaking, uh, dripping wet, and all I'm going to do is section my hair enough that I can apply my products. So I just have a couple of little claw clips here somewhere in my lap, um, and I'm just gonna pin back, you know, half of my hair. Let's take this part. Um, and some of this. There we go. Today for products I'm going to use BioTerra gel which I have always used since the beginning. It's my favorite gel and I'm also going to use this Cantu styling cream. Now this cream a little bit goes a long way and as I mentioned I already shot this video last week and I used Diva Curls Wave Maker which I normally really like but I just used way too much um, and it kind of got flaky in my hair. So I'm not going to use that for this video. I'm going to use this one. Please feel free to use any gel and any styling cream you like. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error. Another thing that you can try if you find your hair is too producty after this technique is you can try a little tiny bit of conditioner mixed with your gel. I also love doing that. But for today, we're using these two. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use the praying hands technique to apply all of this um, gel and cream to my hair. And I'm going to make sure I go right up to the root and work it down to the ends. And I still have a ton of gel in my hands, so I'm going to go to this side. If I didn't use enough gel, um, I would apply more gel and more cream, but I have a ton. And my hair is soaking wet, so then I'm going to just kind of squeeze all of this hair together to evenly distribute the product. Now let's repeat that on the other sections of my hair. These are bigger sections of hair, so I might have to apply the product again. Bring hands on that side. No, I still have a ton. Now, I always take a little tiny bit of gel and just make sure I put that 
on the back of my hair because I tend to miss product in the back of my hair. I'm not combing this product through or using a brush, but that's another thing that you can do for even more definition. And that's something that other people have done in their videos is that they comb the products through. I have so much water in my hair right now that I'm just going to squeeze everything together and try to use that to evenly distribute the product. I just don't think that I will ever put the products in and comb my hair and finger coil my hair. I just think it's just too much. Um, so I'm just going to finger coil today, but I'm going to squeeze this water into my hair. I'm going to keep applying the product to the sections of my hair and guys, I'm just going to voice over um, this section of the video. You will be very happy to know that I finally bought a microphone. And so if you are somebody who watches my channel all the time, you'll be able to tell uh, that the sound quality is a bit better. So here is me choosing the first section of hair. And I chose a piece right here so that it's really easy for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing because I am going to speed this up in a minute. I'm making sure that I start the twist way up at the root and then I'm finger coiling all the way down to the end of my hair and look, it makes a pretty good spiral. Um, so I'm just going to repeat this like a million times. Now, one thing that took me a long time to kind of master, or a couple of weeks I should say, um, is just figuring out how much hair to choose. So if you take too much, your hair looks way too clumpy and it just doesn't really work very well. And if you take too small of sections, your look at the end will be a little bit stringy. So I found that this size section worked great for my hair pattern, but it will vary depending on your own curl pattern. So here's another piece. I'm just kind of finger detangling it and I'm twisting. Um, and I did twist my entire head of hair for this video. I don't show every single twist because the video would be a little bit too long. Um, if you miss a few pieces, it doesn't matter because your hair is naturally wavy and or curly. And so it will just kind of blend in with the total look, but try to twist as much as you can if you're gonna try this. Still twisting. Still twisting. So this is like the mid section of my hair. And then I parted my hair where my hair normally parts and did the top. And now I'm going to dry my hair. So again, if you want to get good results from your diffusing, the number one thing that I recommend, and I learned this from another YouTuber, Mains by Mel, is that I always dry my roots first. I kind of hover the dryer around my roots and I do the ends and bottom of my hair last. Wardrobe change again. There, that looks much better. So the total diffusing time was about 25 minutes, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. And that's why I let my hair air dry most of the way. Now I'm off work on maternity leave, so I have the luxury of taking 25 minutes to dry my hair. But um, if I was working, I probably wouldn't use this technique except for on the weekends because it took a little bit of time. Almost done. We're going to rake out our hair a little tiny bit and scrunch out the crunch some. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys a close up of my hair and we're going to talk all about my final thoughts. You can use your bare hands to scrunch out the crunch if you like. And you can also like put a little bit of conditioner on your hands or a little bit of oil on your hands. There's lots of people that do lots of different little things. Um, I prefer to use a microfiber towel if I'm home and if I'm out, I just use my bare hands. My hair definitely looks good. My hair does not look bad. It's very frizz free um, and defined and I'm really happy with my curls. But I have to be completely honest. I don't find it looks that much different than when I don't use this technique. This is only my opinion, but I have been trying this technique, um, you know, a couple of times a week for the last few weeks and using different products and things like that. And I just really think that this technique works better on hair when your curl pattern is tighter. So if my hair was curlier, I think that it would enhance those curls a lot better. Where I have wavy to loose curly hair, I just don't think 
the twisting holds enough to make like this huge difference. I definitely encourage you to try it. And if you do try it and you get great results, please post and tag me on Instagram. Now my Instagram, which I'll leave across the screen here, is my personal Instagram. I don't have like a professional Instagram. So um, if you choose to follow me, just beware that there's like a million pictures of like my kid and my dog and my cat and stuff like that. It's not like a hair specific Instagram, but if you try this and you liked it, please tag me like I said. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions for me to try, please leave them in the comment section below. I still feel like I'm going to stick with my regular styling routine, which is using the praying hands technique, scrunching product into my soaking wet hair and letting my hair half air dry and kind of half diffusing it. That's what works the best for me. But my hair turned out great. So again, like I said, I don't think that there's anything wrong with doing this routine. And I think if you have curlier hair, it would work even better for you. Some of you are probably a little bit disappointed with my results, but I just like to show my true honest results and give my true honest opinion. And I hope this video was helpful in some ways. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs down, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.